It's the morning after homecoming weekend and we had a lot of big dubs, so stay tuned for your rainbow roundup. The Clarence TC Chin Complex was definitely the place to be this past Saturday night as both homecoming and Timmy Chang's first career victory were celebrated. Rainbow Warrior Football took the win over Duquesne 24-14. Malik Hausman finished the night with two key interceptions, and on top of that, Panay Pavihi returned an interception 50 yards for a touchdown that allowed the Bows to gain an even bigger lead in the fourth quarter. UH heads on the road this week for their last non-conference game before Mountain West play in October. The Bows will face off against New Mexico State starting this Saturday at 2 p.m. Hawaii time. The University of Hawaii women's soccer team came out on top this past Thursday in their first conference match, beating UC Davis 1-0. The team got the goal late in the second half off an assist from Amber Gilbert to Kelsey Sumita, who put the ball in the back of the net. After the match, head coach Michelle Nagumine joined the Spectrum Sports crew and had this to say about the game. So, so proud of my team. Uh, you know, the women hung in there. Um, they bent a little, but we didn't break, as Coach Mark likes to say. So, I mean, I'm thrilled. This was, they're a fantastic team, and we just, uh, the, the way that we scored tonight, too, holy smokes. The Rainbow Wahine will now take on UC Santa Barbara this Thursday on the road at 4 p.m. Hawaii time. UH celebrated five decades of Rainbow Wahine volleyball as the Bows played their annual alumni game on Friday at the Simplify Arena. The alumni game consisted of players from the inaugural year of 1972 all the way to 2021. After the alumni game, the current Wahine played the alumni team in skills competition and finished with the scrimmage. The Bows will begin conference play this weekend against UC Davis and UC Riverside. The fun starts this Friday at 7 p.m. in the Simplify Arena. Golf season is underway as the Rainbow Wahine are currently on the road at the Coeur d'Alene Collegiate in, you guessed it, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. This marks the first season under head coach Julie Brooks, who previously served as an assistant coach over 15 years ago here at UH. Brooks and squad began play on Sunday and currently sit in 18th place overall and will play over the next two days. Cross Country finished their first road trip, placing 21st overall in the UC Riverside Invitational. Senior Kaylin Miller recorded a personal best, which put her in the top 10 all time in UH history. The Bows will head to the Charles Bulls Invitational in Oregon on October 1st. What a successful homecoming week for your Bows. I'm already looking forward to next week and I hope you are too. I'm Emily Cervantes with the Rainbow Roundup.